Now, working with vectors in terms of components is very useful, but this relies on a fixed coordinate system using something called basis vectors. This is going to be very helpful to us. And in 3D, the basis vectors that are most common are called the standard basis vectors, otherwise known as i, j, and k, where i is the vector 1, 0, 0, j is 0, 1, 0, k is 0, 0, 1, unit vectors along the x, y, and z axes. Okay, so the thing is, any vector v can be decomposed as a linear combination of v1 times i plus v2 times j plus v3 times k. So what we're doing is we're using matrix addition and scalar multiplication to decompose vectors. Now, when you move from R3 to Rn, we uh, quickly run out of letters. So what we're going to use are the n standard basis vectors denoted E sub k, where that subscript goes from 1 to n. Each E sub k has zeros in all n slots except the kth term, which is equal to exactly 1. This notation is entirely standard and very helpful to us. With a little bit of practice, you'll get it. So let's start. Let's take the following vector and express it in terms of the standard basis vectors. Let's say that u is 2, negative 1, 0, 5, 1, negative 3, 9, 0, 4. Wow, what is that? That's in uh, R9. Okay, so what we're going to do is write that as a linear combination of those e sub k vectors. So u is 2e1 minus e2 plus 5e4 plus e5 minus 3e6 plus 9e7 plus 4e9. There we go. Got them all. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I missed the e3 term. Oh, no, wait. That's okay because the coefficient was zero. Likewise with e8. Okay, that is a nice way to write out that vector horizontally as a linear combination. Consider the vector v, which is 1, negative 7, 5. That can be written as i minus 7j plus 5k. Or if we want, we could use e1 and e2 and e3 with the same coefficients. The idea is once you fix your standard basis vectors, any vector can be uniquely expressed as a linear combination of those standard basis vectors. In this case, you have a choice between i, j, k and e1, e2, e3, but that's it. All right, let's practice a bit more. What is the length of the vector sum u minus 2 times v, where u is given as the vector 4, 0, negative 3, that is 4i minus 3k, and v is given as the vector 1, 1, negative 2, that is i plus j minus 2k. First, we can use the components to do the vector addition, that combination. So u minus 2 times v is 4, 0, minus 3, minus 2 times 1, 1, negative 2. That is easy enough to do. That gives us a final vector of 2, negative 2, 1. And then, remember, we were asked to compute the length, so what we need to do is take the sum of the squares of the components and take the square root of that. In this case, it's square root of 4 plus 4 plus 1, which equals 3. Simple. 